Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a product uh, called the Mr. Limpy or the Classic Packy. And as you can see then, they're already in my hands. So, the reason why I'm making this review is because I have been using this packer for about, not 10 years, but like let's say on and off for 10 years. I'm about to hit my like 10 year anniversary of buying my first packer, and it's literally the one I'm holding in my hands. This is a 10 year old packer. Um, so today I'm gonna make a little review about it, talk a little about it, talk about why I like it, why I don't like it, pros and cons, and then if you want to buy it later on, I will put it on the the linky poo whatever in the description linky poo really chase six anyways um, Right off the bat. This is a personal video about like sex things and My body and if you know me in real life and don't want to know things about my body then like get off and if you get off <laughs> Yes, watch this video and get off Okay, let's just, can, can we get onto it, please? Shut the fuck up, Chase, let's go. And I would like to say that I will be reviewing multiple packers, multiple SCPs, multiple other sex toys. If you have never seen the um, review topic, pump, whatever playlist that I have, check it out right there. I review a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, all these reviews I do for Early to Bed. So if you want to check them out, it's earlytobed.com. All right, so why do I like this so much? Now, I will be honest with you. This is the small on the early to bed website. Now for other companies, this is actually the extra small. You can definitely 100% tell because it has the biggest balls. Now, I don't know why they do this, why the small one has the biggest balls. And I will be 100% honest with you, I've hated this packer in the past, hated this packer. I much preferred the medium, which is what is on the early to bed website or on other websites, the small. The small one, which I have over here, it's a bit beat up, okay? I wore this a lot for like two years, is this one. So it is longer, but the balls are substantially thinner, which I wish the balls were thinner on this one. That's what I always wished. And then, um, <laughs> peer pressure, but my friend actually uses this packer all the time. And I was like, mm, maybe I can give it another shot because none of the packers that I have right now are working for me. So I did give this another shot and oh my goodness, I love it. And I realized why I didn't like it is because I was wearing the wrong type of packing underwear, which I will also make a video about, which is the best packing underwear to wear while you're packing. Also, I just made a video for Transastic about like STPs and peens where I took out all of my dicks and they fell all over the floor and it's really slippery here because it has like an oily substance. Anyway, so um, I really like this packer. There is a hole here because I tried to turn it into an STP about four years ago. That did not work, obviously, because I'm not using it as an STP and the thing that I had made it with was like really uncomfortable and sharp and was hurting my cooter. So I'm gonna be honest and tell you that I feel like there is a big difference between like the old model and the new model of it, because this is the new model. I asked them to send me a new version of the, the this because I wanted to review it, and I didn't want to review this old one. So this, that's it. Put that in the pile of peens and talk about the real one over here, because this is what you're actually gonna be getting. Now back in the day, there were actually only like two colors available. There was chocolate, in quotation marks, and um, pink. So that color that you're seeing is pink. This is, I think it's called peach or something, or cream, I don't know. My dicks are falling everywhere today, Jesus Christ. So I really like this one. It's a little bit too big for me, but honestly, I don't mind at, the, at this point, because I don't wear it like this in my underwear, I actually wear it like this. So that's why when you're looking at this peen, it's actually crooked, because that's literally how I wore it. Oh my God, I have a crooked dick. I would highly recommend this. This is probably the cheapest pack you're gonna get, because it is only Twelve dollars. Twelve! This is twelve dollars! Do you want to see another dick that costs a lot of money? This is a two hundred dollar dick! Two hundred dollar dick! Dicky! Over here! This? Twelve dollars. I'm kidding about that other one. It's not actually two hundred dollars. I'm just being really dramatic. But yeah, so I really like this one and I keep saying that I'm not really telling you why. Okay, so I like this one because of this squishy substance. If it's in your pants, I feel, in my opinion, it does feel feel um, like I'm gonna put in my pants right now and just tell you how it feels. Um, so when I put in my pants, if I actually touch it, I know that for me it's not like a real peen, but it feels real. And not that I'm, I've touched a lot of dicks in my life, but uh, um, <laughs> it, it feels really great. Now the people who are doing construction right outside my window are watching me touch my dick right now. Isn't that fun? You're not getting the show, but they are. Not fair. All right, so let's go with like the pros. It packs really well, okay? It holds its shape, and if you want to put it here after a while, it will stay like that, which is great if that's how you like a dick. Um, it feels really great in underwear on you and on the, um, like if you're oh, touching it through the underwear. The reason I say that is because I have a lot of growth down there, so if I have something that's touching me, it actually really hurts. This 
is lovely because it doesn't actually touch me. It does touch me, but because it's so soft and warm and cuddly, it doesn't actually hurt me at all. Um, the other day, actually, I was wearing this and I was like, ugh, very uncomfortable. I don't know what kept happening, but it was kept moving. So I guess like maybe like 10% of the time, it might feel uncomfortable, so I just move it and then it's fine. Um, but as an overall packer, for it being at $12, this is such a good buy. It's like a best buy. I feel like I'm one of those like review websites that like, the best buy. This is it. This is the best buy, honestly. Um, if you're looking for something really cheap, um, that isn't cheap. You know what I'm saying? So there are cons to this. It's not a perfect peen. If you're looking for an STP, um, um, and you're looking for a packer to convert, this is probably, like, it's a good one, I guess, because I did try to make it into um, an STP, and this is actually a really old uh, way to do it. I remember, I believe it was Charles Asher used to do this, do it like this, and show you how to do it, and I tried to do this. The only diff the only part, part that's bad is that it makes the dick a bit thicker and rigider, and I would honestly recommend buying a real STP instead of making an STP. Um, now, the reason why this was made up was because there were not that many STPs back then. Now there are a shit ton, and obviously I've made videos about all of them, so take a look at that as well. Another con is that it is a little bit bulky and it is something to get used to. You, What I feel like, this is, with, this is a con with all packers, honestly, is when I'm wearing it, I feel like I constantly have to look down to make sure it doesn't look like I have a boner or the biggest bulge in the world that's obvious that's not mine. Um, so that's a con for it too, but like I said, a huge con for maybe all all of them. Sorry that my review videos are kind of all over the place, but you know, I'm on the phone with Amazon. What are you gonna do? Ooh, feels nice on your face. In terms of like realistic look and feel, like I said in my underwear, it does feel really great. And um, at, I mean, it does look, it looks real, but it also, I've looked at Packers for too long. Um, in my entire life, for the last 10 years, that's all I've been looking at. I mean, I've also looked at, like, you know, cis peens, but I don't know. To me, it's hard to tell. The balls are very... They, I feel like they never really work on the balls. Like, balls don't really... They, I mean, I guess, but... I don't know, the cat just meowed. That's appropriate for when I'm showing you the dick, the puss comes in. Ayy! As for how to pack, like I said, the reason why I didn't like that in the past is because I just used to pack with an elastic band and an O-ring, and that doesn't work with that pink because it sticks out too much. So I actually wear briefs. I'm not gonna show you my camera's placed really nice. I have other videos to make. But these are the briefs um, that I wear. They're from H&M. The peen works perfectly in them. Um, there is another packing underwear, and there is, like I said, a video about how to pack and which packing underwear is the best, but just to give you a little preview, these by um, Rodeo, 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 whatever. These ones over here are fantastic. These are the packing underwear. Your peen goes in there and they honestly, like it sticks to you. It's nice, it feels really great. These are really great. They're not that expensive either. So I would recommend looking at that. If you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to look after all of my, look after, yeah. Look after all of my other peen videos. Look at them. Okay, I'm done, I'm sorry. Have a great week, bye.